So, waiting, I'm Nace, this is I'm Amelia, also known as the Martian Geek, and welcome back to another episode of Crash Bandicoot The Wrath of Cortex. In the last episode, we did levels 8 and 9, and now it's time for level 10. H2O No. Another They're message. I'm gonna have to hang you out to dry when I get through with you! Yeah, yeah. Well, maybe a bandicoot's fur does hold moisture. So, I said there was only one more underwater level. I guess that's not entirely true. There's only one more completely underwater level, but this one starts underwater. So I suppose it technically still counts. I'm actually surprised that didn't hit me. So we have 165 boxes. And one that I almost missed. I just have a feeling that with the levels being this dark, which I'm not sure, again, if they're supposed to be like that, I just have a feeling that I'm going to end up overlooking a boss or a box because I can't see it well enough. Ah, dang it. And that is why you spam shots. Because if you don't, you get hit by fish. forward more closely. Now that I think about it, I wonder if part of the issue with water levels in Crash games is they don't let you see nearly as much of the screen relative to your character. Like with the regular old walking level. Oh, I didn't get the one up. Oh well. With a regular walking level, you can see a pretty decent amount of stuff around you. It's 3D and all, you can see the environment. With this, I feel like you can only see as much of the screen as you would in a 2D game. It's smaller than this. Okay, 24 out of 165. That doesn't look like it has collision, but it's not where it is. I think we're closing in on the end of the water segment. Maybe not. Maybe the water section in this one is longer than the minecart section in level 5. I totally didn't need to blow that mine up, but... Uh, revenge or something? Okay, now we're at the end. That's quite a jump there, Crash. And now we're in this little cave area that... I don't think we ever see anything like that again. Yeah, that's two checkpoints before we get to the main part of the level. 38 boxes. Aku Aku. Now, I actually wonder if this part of the level... Well... I guess we'll see more later on. But I kind of wonder if this level is a throwback, at least somewhat, to the sewer stages in Crash 2. Because we have the water in the tunnels kind of deal, and we even have electrified water. Okay, will that thing turn off? Because that's an awfully awkward jump to make for only level 10. So I guess that would be the oh no part, eh? the oh no part of H2O no. Yeah, we even have enemies that spray back and forth. I never really thought about how much this level reminds me of the sewers in Crash 2. Okay. Not a bad level, really. I think the, the last regular level in each warp room... Whoop. Oh no. I think the last regular level in each warp room tends to be among the- Dang it! I keep doing that. 
tends to be among the better ones in the game, like 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Those are all good. I'd imagine that this one wouldn't be great to do a time trial on either. Oh, see that time I actually did land on the destroyable box. I want another checkpoint before I die again. But alas, I cannot has one. And I did die again, fancy that. This is one of those levels where I never really notice the music too much, either. Like, it's fine. It's just not one that I tend to listen to when not playing the game, and... I guess when playing the game, often I have... more important things to think about. So we're just gonna do that. Didn't know they could go back that far. Dang, why am I stuck on the same stinking part of the level? If this were a modern game, this is about the part where I'd have to have a super guide or a golden Kong or whatever. Well, I still have 75 lives anyway. I'd be able to hit 99 before the end of the game. I'm pretty sure I still need to hit the TNT before taking care of these. Was that Aku Aku there before? Because I guess that kind of is Crash Bandicoot Games version of the Super Guide. Make more checkpoints and more Aku Akus. I don't remember if that checkpoint was there before either, for that matter. Also, what's the point of putting nitros in electrified water? You're gonna get hurt if you fall over there anyway. Maybe for the intimidation factor? H2, oh no, oh no! There's not a Nitro there. Or a TNT. And again, make sure not to miss the bonus room. Now, missing the platform, on the other hand... I did it again. I keep thinking that there's more platform there, and there's not. This is why lighting is important, I suppose. Because the part you can stand on blends in awfully well with the part you can. Case in point. Oh well, it's a bonus room. Doesn't really matter how many times I die during it. That's a platform. That is not a platform. That is a platform. That's a platform, and... Oh, heck. I think I just screwed myself. I didn't! I made it across. Okay, now can I get that box up there? I can! See, you didn't even technically need to use the Nitro Sneak there. But yes, that was the second instance of the place where you could potentially use it. Got three extra lives out of that. 
four, four because of the Wumpa Fruit. Good, considering how many lives I lost just trying to get through that one area. So we're up to 129 out of 165. And are these the flopping fish from the prehistoric levels in Crash 3? Can we jump on them? I don't know. Why jump on things when Crash's spin attack is so much more effective? Aside from those from with those spiked turtles in Crash 2, obviously don't spin those. And don't walk on nitros. It's hazardous to your health. Actually put us back quite a ways. Oh no. At least we don't have to go through the bonus area again, I suppose. Hitboxes are a thing. Okay, this one I did not expect to take this long. Come on, Crash, smash it. Thought I was gonna take damage there. If I kind of simultaneously jump and spin, then hopefully, if one thing fails, the other attack will get it. Oh, dang it! press the button too late. <sighs> Why is this taking so long? I'm not always good at video games. Use another Aku Aku too. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I should just slide into those guys since they're so narrow. I believe this is where I died before, as in when I made the most progress. There's our power crystal. Go ahead and get these first. And we have more lasers. Just gonna crawl under these. Okay, I guess I don't have to. It's been an awfully long time since we've seen a checkpoint. What the heck? Well, that's all the boxes anyway, so I guess we don't need another checkpoint. The end is right there. Phew! For only being level 10, that one was surprisingly tricky. I think my biggest problem there was underestimating the difficulty based on personal memories. At least we don't have to redo it. I mean, until we do the time trial. So time for boss two. Uh, boss two, drain damage. Ah, get over here, you little orange sponge. Cause we're gonna ring you out. 
I recall this boss giving us some trouble when we first played the game. I'm not entirely sure why. Let's hope I don't find out. So the way this works is... Crunch is over there. He has a few different attacks. He can do these water waves. Or more like vague blue energy waves, actually. You have to platform across... Yeah, not do that. <laughs> Great start. You have to platform across there. Well, not staying on any one platform too long. Lest it sink under you. So we can also throw those that green fire, which you have to duck under instead of jumping over. And apparently I was within range of that. Yeah, that was poor timing. Yeah, I don't know what it is about this boss that makes it so easy to die on, but... Okay, can I duck on... Ah, oh, I slid off the platform! Quite literally. In fact, I wonder if I could speed this up a bit by sliding. I don't think I've ever died to the platform. Dang it. Okay, now I'm beginning to see why this is so troublesome. And that was really dumb. Do these platforms actually sink under you? I'm pretty sure they do, but... I didn't get to it in time. No Aku Akus for this one either. This is embarrassing. See, it's kind of hard to tell where his attacks are. Okay, let's just do that. And the platform did, in fact, not sink under me, so... Phase 3. So he's gonna do that, and then that. And then shake the platform. Okay, so... Wave. Fire. And... Quake. The quake, incidentally, doesn't actually... What?! The quake doesn't actually damage you. Maybe that's what makes the platform sink. Or just throws off your platforming. Okay, you can jump over that. Dock under that. Jump over that. Dock under that. And... Hey, since when do you have a melee attack? Yeah, I don't know what it is about this boss. It's just so easy to die on. Ah, I did the same thing. Do not try to rush that. There's no time trial. Duck on the second one. Jump! Absolutely humiliating. Yeah, I feel like slide jumping is safer than regular jumping. Gives you more horizontal clearance. You have to do this four times. But he doesn't have a health bar for... Unknown reasons. Okay, that. And round four. So wave, quake, fire, and quake. Okay, 
easy enough. Okay, can I get him before he... There we go! Okay. That should not have been that hard, but we're down to 67 lives when we had like 80 before. And we get the double jump, which is always useful. To jump twice as high, press X to jump, and then press X again at the top of the jump. Also, press X to continue. Can we doubly continue by pressing X twice? Yeah, I don't know what it is about that boss. It's like... You die a bunch of times and then you get into a rhythm and then it's fine. But that's Warp Room 2 clear and cutscene number 2. You are making a mockery of me in front of my minions! Well, not really, not too. Have you no, I'm pretty sure masks, you did that yourself. You are still collecting those worthless crystals! Well, you've gotten this far, and this is as far as you're gonna get. Pyro, the fire elemental, will see to that. Oh, Cortex, come on! I don't need some flaming mask to help me! I can take Crash on by myself! Crunch, you will do as I say. You and Pyro will vanquish Crash and his annoying friends. We will see who defeats who. Now we are on Warp Room 3, which we will do starting next time. So I'll see you then.